Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing a redesign for the Hawker Hurricane Mark I. The Hawker Hurricane is a British single seat fighter aircraft of the 1930s through 40s that was designed and predominantly built by Hawker Aircraft LTD for service with the Royal Air Force RAF. It was overshadowed in public consciousness by the submarine Spitfire's role during the Battle of Britain in 1940, but the Hurricane inflicted 60% of the losses sustained by the Luftwaffe in engagement and fought in all major theaters of the Second World War. So the Hawker Hurricane here is pretty much one of the primary British fighters of World War II. Uh, a very under kind of appreciated plane as I mentioned before it was very overshadowed by the uh, Spitfire and all of its kind of like legacy I guess uh, but yeah the Hawker Hurricane definitely a uh, force to be reckoned with fighter and a really nice and uh, historic one for uh, for sure. So uh, yeah, in this tutorial we go ahead and do a redesign for it. I did have an older design for it on the channel that's been basically completely revamped as you can see here and is a brand new nice looking design that's going to look awesome in any of your World War II scenarios basically involving uh, the British Air Forces. So uh, go ahead and kind of take a look at the vehicle. Um, actually before we do I want to go give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can pledge a small amount to the channle every month and earn a vehicle request if you're choosing depending on which tier you decide to go and sub to. Uh, it helps me a lot in supporting my work on the channel and is much appreciated. So uh, again, feel free to check that out. Link is always down in my video descriptions. And that, let's go ahead and kind of dive into taking a look here at the uh, aircraft and see exactly what we're going to be building. So starting off with, as you can see, we have a nice kind of uh, camouflage here, basically a green and brown tone, which uh, looks pretty good and pretty standard for the camouflage used on these aircraft. Um, we have obviously the front propeller here, um, the kind of fuselage works its way back. We have the cockpit. Um, all the details on the side here, see so the writings here, the RF, um, basically the squadrons and uh, basically aircraft uh, number in the squadron. Um, again, uh, you know, you can kind of do whatever you guys really want for this. Um, and, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, and then we have the tail here, which, again, pretty straightforward and all that stuff. But I think it has a really nice kind of color combination with the, um, you know, green terracotta with the dark oak wood and the spruce wood. They can create a nice kind of color palette and is a really nice looking fighter and a really good one to add to our British lineup of World War II. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layers, we go ahead and start off with layers 1 and 2. Now, uh, if you guys are completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is that we're going to be building half the aircraft on camera, and then the other half will be up to you guys to copy in between layers. The aircraft is completely symmetrical on both sides, so whatever we do to one side will be done to the other side. And once we get for, through the first few layers, it's going to make a little bit more sense, and it'll be a little bit easier. It just kind of speeds up the tutorial process, and since we're it's basically the same thing on both sides, there's really not much point for me to cover it twice. So. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Now this is for the airborne version of the aircraft only, so if you want to make a landed version, this really isn't the tutorial for you guys. However, um, this is basically going to be solely for the in-flight version. So you can build this however high off the ground you want, just know that this is going to be the lowest point of the aircraft here with layer 1 with these two iron trap doors. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started here for the aircraft, we're going to start off our center line. So this is going to be the exact center of the aircraft. We're going to place down an iron trap door, make sure that it's on the top portion of the block, like so, and not down here on the bottom portion, like so. So you don't want that, you want this right here. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4 smooth quartz top slabs, and all the base here would be using smooth quartz. If I do just say quartz, don't use just standard quartz slabs, use smooth quartz. It creates a nice better flow uh, and color to the bottom here. After that, we're going to place down a black concrete block, followed by a quartz full block, and then two quartz top sides back, followed by three iron trap doors. Again, the iron trap doors are on the top portion of the blocks, like so. We then want to go ahead and skip a space of one and two, and then we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull come off this block, like so. We can then delete these two blocks, and we should have this wither skeleton skull here, and then these three iron trap doors, and everything like this for the center line. We're also going to go ahead and go to the bottom here of the black concrete block. We're going to place down an iron trap door and the one that comes off of it going forward. 
From this point, uh, we want to go and then take our iron trapdoors and place down one and two iron trapdoors along the side here, followed by a quartz top slab, and then we want to place down a row of two of quartz up downstairs going back, followed by an narrow quartz top slab, and then two iron trapdoors going back like so. We're going to go and then place down our iron trapdoor come off the side of this one right here, followed by one, two, and three quartz top slabs, and then a narrow iron trapdoor. We're going to then place down a iron trap door here, followed by one and two quartz top slabs, and then one and two iron trap doors. We're going to place down an additional iron trap door, same thing again, two quartz top slabs, two iron trap doors, and we're going to go and repeat the process one more time. So an iron trap door, two quartz top slabs, and two iron trap doors, like so. So it should look like this so far coming off here for the right side wing. When we get to this point, we're going to take our iron trap doors, we're going to do a row of four. So we're going to do one, two, three and uh, actually one quick adjustment here we're going to make is we're going to change and delete this iron trap door right here so it should look something like so here on the sides so once that's done we're going to then place down a row of four of iron trap doors across we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three so going to the second one from front one two three and we want to go ahead and then place down an additional three more of these rows or sorry my bad four more so one two three four four more of these rows so one two three and four so we have four rows of three like that right into the side and then we're going to start off with the first one here toward the front we're going to place down one and two iron trap doors and then one and two iron trap doors again so you get something that looks like this here for the base of the aircraft looking at from above this is what it should look like you're going to take what we do over here on the right side so everything from the center line here over to the right side, you're going to go and basically copy over to the left side. So your aircraft should look something like this from up above for these first few layers. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for layers uh, 1 and 2. And with that, we're going to be going ahead and moving into our next layers, or our next layer, layer number 3. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to this iron trap door on the front. We're going to place down a quartz tops or quartz full block on top of it, followed by a quartz up down stair going coming off of it toward the front. From that quartz full block, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks back. At this point right here, you can go and choose to build an interior in this space, or you can go ahead and just completely fill it in with a row of uh, three of black concrete. Um, but you're going to have this row of three of space here, either filled in with black concrete or left open to build a interior for the cockpit. Whatever you choose to, to uh, do there is basically up to you guys. After that, we're going to go and then place down a row of three of green terracotta back from it, a quartz full block, two green terracotta blocks, one, two, three quartz full blocks, and then a quartz upside down stair here on the back. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, lever on the middle quartz block here on the bottom of it and flick back so it connects up to that weather skeleton spool like so for the rear move like that. After that's done, we're going to go to the nose here. We're going to place down a dark oak and upside down corner stair coming off this quartz stair, followed by an upside down uh, dark oak stair going back from it. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 green terracotta blocks back, followed by a dark oak and upside down stair. And then 1, 2, and 3 green er, green mossy cobblestone walls back like that. For the wings here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak stair. We're going to place down a dark oak stair like so, followed by 1 and 2 stairs back from it. So the first stair here becomes a corner stair, and then you have 2 stairs going back from it, followed by a dark oak slab, and then a dark oak trap door. From this, we're going to then take our dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three dark oak slabs, following one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. We then want to go ahead and take our spruce wood trap doors and have them all face the same direction. We're going to place down one, two, one, two, three, and four spruce wood trap doors in those sections like that for the rear flaps. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then transition to dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down one and two dark oak wood slabs like so. Now when we get to this section here, uh, we do have the option here of putting the RAF logo on the wings here. Now you can choose to include it or um, you know, not include it. Either one kind of works. Um, unfortunately with Minecraft blocks, you don't have a perfect kind of blue um, block that really works good for this. So what we're going to be using here is prismarine brick slabs. We're going to place down a prismarine brick slab like this, followed by a normal brick slab. And then their prismarine brick slab at the side here. On the two sides facing, uh, or on the side facing toward the front, we're going to place down a prismarine slab, and then we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab here in the corners between these prismarine slabs. Now on the back side here, we're going to place down one and two spruce wood trap doors over. We're going to then place down a blue carpet, and an air spruce wood trap door. And then for the tips of the wings here, we're going to place down 
two rows of two of dark oak wood uh, slabs on top of these iron trap doors like that to finish it off. And once that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number three for the build. Um, one thing you guys might be wondering is where the camouflage is. We're going to go ahead and throw in the camouflage on once we complete the um, look at the aircraft. So we're just going to be building it in a solid dark oak wood and green kind of scheme. And then we're going to go and go back and throw the spruce wood in and I'll show you guys a little bit more in detail how to do the camouflage. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, let's move into our next layer. We have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block that's going to be on top of this quartz upside down stair in the front here. We're going to place down a black concrete block coming off of it toward the front, followed by another brick wall, and then a wither skeleton to off the narrow brick wall toward the front. We then want to place down a dark liquid sign on both sides of this narrow brick wall. From this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and go back to the green terracotta block. We're going to place down two black concrete blocks back, a green terracotta block, and then in this space here, again, you either have the space left open for an interior for the aircraft, or we're going to go ahead and fill this in with a row of three of black concrete. We're going to then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten green terracotta blocks going all the way back to the rear here. On the rear of the aircraft, we're going to go from the last two green terracotta blocks. We're going to place down three iron or dark oak wood trap doors coming off the side of them, like so, out to the side, so like so. And again, note that they are on the top portion of the block and not down at this level, like so. From this, we're going to then grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four mossy cobblestone walls forward, and then a dark oak wood stair, like so. Um, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three green terracotta blocks. Or sorry, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven green terracotta blocks in total. Two stone brick walls with wither skeleton skulls come off the stone brick walls, a mossy cobblestone wall like that for the front there. And once we have that all complete, uh, we can also go ahead and throw on the propeller here. So for a propeller, real simple, we're going to need some narrow brick stairs, slabs, some birch wood slabs, and birch wood stairs, and also a narrow brick wall. If you've watched some of my tutorials before on aircraft, very similar propeller design to what we normally use, but we're going to go to the black concrete block, we're going to place down a uh, narrow brick upside down stair to the side here, narrow brick top side coming off it, and then a birch wood top side like that coming off of it. We then want to go to the air side here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair over this space, then going up, another narrow brick stair, and then we want to place down a birch wood slab coming off of it, like that, at an angle. From this point here, uh, going to the bottom here, we're going to place down a narrow brick wall that comes down like so, and then we want to go ahead and go over from the narrow brick wall, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair like so, and then a birch wood up sound stair coming off the bottom of the narrow brick um, stair like so. So your propeller should look something just like this, and once you have that done, your propellers are done. And with that, we also have uh, pretty much the structural part of this layer complete. Now I am going to show you guys how to make the banners here on the sides of the aircraft, so you have that option. Uh, the banners I'm going to be showing you guys to make are how to make these ones right here, which are basically these uh, pretty straightforward little RAF logoed banners. So I'll be showing you guys how to make these, um, however if you do want to put letters on the aircraft, which I do recommend doing, um, I will be linking the tutorial down in the description where you guys can do letters and numbers, um, I'll show you guys how to do them, and you can make your own numbers, letters, all that stuff, your own little squadrons and whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing you guys, uh, talking about that here in a sec, but anyways let's go ahead and move into making these uh, two ban banners here for the Randall on the side of the aircraft. I right, guess so for these banners it's really straightforward. All we're gonna do is place down a loom and we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some two blue banners and we're gonna go into our loom and we're gonna start off by placing a blue banner in the loom. And from this we're gonna go ahead and, and then take our yellow die. We're gonna put yellow die in the yellow die section and we're gonna do a yellow border all the way around the banner. We're gonna go ahead and do this for both banners. So you should get two banners with these two yellow borders. From this point, we're going to go ahead and place down one of the banners back into our loom, and this time we're going to go ahead and take white dye. We're going to go ahead and take our white dye, and we're going to go ahead and do a line on the right side of white, and we're going to go ahead and do a, a line over here on the left side of white. Now, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down both banners back, or one of our banners back into our loom. So this one here has the white stripe on the right side of the banner. We're going to take our blue die, which I accidentally grabbed lapis, uh, we're going to grab our blue die, we're going to go ahead and place it into our loom, and we want to go ahead and select, since our white stripe is on the right side, we're going to select the top right um, kind of corner piece here of blue, and we're going to then select the bottom right. So you get a banner that looks just like that. 
And we're gonna go do the same thing for this banner. We're gonna place it into our loom. We're gonna go and do the uh, the stripes on the left side. So we're gonna go do the bottom left with blue and the top left. And we get two banners that look just like this. Now the position of these banners is gonna be going ahead and go into this dark oak stair, banner right here, and banner right there next to it, and that's gonna be the location of those. Now at this point right here, um, you can go ahead and also, while you're already making banners, make the uh, letter designations that you want on the aircraft. Um, going by what the aircraft actually had on them, it was basically green banners with uh, gray letters. And you, typically it was two banners um, before it, the uh, Randall, and then we had a banner right after it. So for example, over here on the opposite side of the aircraft, uh, we will actually be doing something slightly different. So these banners here will be moved forward one, like this. So we're going to have the R, the F, and the F. And again, they can be whatever banners you guys want. Now, the rando here I said was like this for that reason. Um, but with the letters here, we want to make sure that it's kind of the same here on both sides. So whatever it is, we're going to be starting with letters here. And it's going to be coming to this mossy cobblestone wall. So we have the two banners here. Then the Randall, and then the band, then the last banner here, and then over here on this side we have the two banners, the Randall, and the banner here. So you can kind of see if you want to pause the video here, take a sec to kind of picture where everything is located, and make your own banners and all that stuff. That's the left side of the aircraft, and over here on the right side, that's how it should be positioned. So, anyways, you want something just like that, and once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer four. Let's move into our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer 5 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a dark liquid trapdoor. That is going to go ahead and go on top of this black concrete block. We're going to go ahead and then place down a second dark liquid trapdoor right behind it. We then want to place down two daylight detectors here, followed by a dark liquid slab, three light gray stained glass full blocks, three green terracotta blocks, a dark liquid stair, dark liquid slab, dark liquid trapdoor, green carpet. Two green terracotta blocks, a spruce wood plank, and on both sides of the spruce wood plank, we're going to place down a dark oak button. We also want to go ahead and go to our dark oak wood trapdoors here, and we're going to place down green carpet on all tops of them that we can. So, just like that. And then going ahead and going back up to the front, we're going to go and start working our way out to the side. So, come off the daylight detector to the side, we're going to place down a green carpet, followed by one and two dark oak wood trapdoors back. We're going to go and then place down one, two, and three like race thing was pains, two mossy cobblestone walls, a dark oak wood slab, and then a zombie head here at a slight angle like that, uh, basically make kind of crane flow here for the body shape. And once that's all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer five for the build. You're going to take the same thing, do it over here to this side. And with that, we're going to pretty much move into our final layers here, which will be layers six, seven, and eight. And we're going to basically put all the final uh, stuff on top, finish the cockpit, and then finish the build and all they'll be left to do is to go ahead and do the camouflage. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. Alright guys, going to move into our final layers, we have layers 6 through 7. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and going to the top of our cockpit. On top of this light gray stainless block, we're going to place down a wither skeleton spool, followed by 1 and 2, narrow brick slabs back like so. We then want to place down a dark oak wood slab, and then a dark oak wood trap door, followed by a dark oak wood fence post, and a second fence post going up from it like so. We then want to go ahead and go back to the teal here. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this green terracotta block, a narrow green terracotta block back, and a spruce wood plank here on the rear, followed by a dark oak button on both sides of the spruce wood plank. Uh, once that's done, we're going to then take our dark oak wood, uh, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green terracotta block, and then on the back here, we're going to grab a spruce wood stair, and we're going to place down a spruce wood stair coming off the back of the block like so. So just like that here on the back. We also will need to make a banner um, that will basically be a red, white, and blue stripe like so. Um, so I'll let you guys make that. It's pretty self-explanatory in the basically in the loom. You're just going to want red, white, and blue in that order. Same thing over here. And that will be the little markings here on the tail for the aircraft. Anyways, once that's done, uh, we will then go ahead and grab ourselves some barrier blocks. Now, when we get to this point here, it's kind of optional. So if you do have access to barrier blocks, uh, we can make an awesome cable using some buttons and barrier blocks. But this is real simple. We're going to go from this dark oak fence post, place down one, two, three, four, five barrier blocks back. And on top of those five barrier blocks, we're going to place down five stone buttons. 
So we should get something that kind of looks like that with the cable. If you do not have access to uh, barrier blocks or anything of that sort, you can use iron bars and where the barrier blocks are, you can place down a row of five of iron bars or come up with something a little bit different here. Uh, but the stone buttons here work the best for making that cabling that runs from the back here of the carpet to the uh, rear vertical stabilizer. And um, anyways, that right there is going to do it for the basic model for the aircraft. Let's go ahead and move into adding the camouflage and showing you guys how you can spice up the aircraft a little bit. Alright guys, so go ahead and moving into doing the camouflage. Now for the camouflage, it's really straightforward. All we're going to be doing is basically adding little splotches, little kind of patches here of spruce wood planks. And we're going to be going ahead and replacing the dark oak wood stairs, slabs, and green terracotta blocks with these slabs. And like I said, we're just going to go and do little splotches of it here and there. We don't want to overpower the build and take away too much of the green, but we want to do about a 50-50 ratio um, in terms of the camouflage. Um, if it's a little less, a little more, it doesn't really matter, but um, we just kind of want to make sure that there is kind of a good even, you know, color of the um, different materials here we're putting on. Um, so we're just going to kind of mix it in here randomly, again, trying to create that even spread to it. Uh, when you get to points where you have trapdoors, you can use spruce wood trapdoors instead. They work pretty good um, and all that. Uh, one thing we'd also keep in mind is how we have this kind of flow here of spruce wood going up to this, the cockpit here. We can go ahead and continue it down over here to this side. So we'll have a flow down this way and have a flow into this portion of the wing like so. So you kind of have the options to do stuff like that. You can kind of play around with it and have it kind of wrap around the aircraft and flow around. Um, but again, we don't want both sides to be the same. So we want to make sure that there is a different kind of pattern or something a little different on both sides of the aircraft to kind of give it again kind of more personality and give it a unique look um, to the aircraft. I also encourage you guys when you're building this to try not to copy exactly what I'm doing. Try to do something a little bit different, um, whether that's you know basically you know just kind of doing your own camouflage or you know changing stuff up here and there for it you know if the, it's basically just mixing random blocks into the build itself so it's really easy to just go ahead and kind of do your own thing and if you're building a lot of these in one kind of scenario or one battle it will definitely look a lot better to have basically a bunch of different camouflages rather than one aircraft same camouflage copy and paste it all over the place so just keep that in mind when you're building this you know again try to you know keep that in mind and all that uh, but pretty straightforward stuff we're just going to mix it in here a few more spots and pretty much call it good to go again this is more of just kind of showing you guys how to go about adding the camouflage and not really a tutorial a proper kind of tutorial for the camouflage itself um, but just trying to give you guys some ideas on what you guys can do to uh, give your aircraft a little bit of camo, um, as the Hawker Hurricanes typically did. Uh, but anyways, that's probably about what we'll do right there. I think we have a good mixture of both colors, and as you can see, it really definitely changes the kind of overall visuals of the build and kind of gives it a very unique looking look to it. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have here for my Hawker Hurricane Mark 1 uh, tutorial. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask you guys to give me a proper credit for it. This can be a thing from the side of the building to, make, to a link to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. As long as you guys give me a proper credit for your free user for your projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And, um... Yeah, that's about it. Um, again, big special thanks to BrickRose2016 for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the video description. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, if you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 24, and I'll see you guys next time.